for me. She speaks her truth without doubt and hesitation. And the life she leads is of her own creation. She now understands what it means to live and let live. How much to ask for herself and how much to give. She has a strong yet generous heart. And the inner beauty she emanates sets her apart. Like the mythical phoenix, she has risen from the ashes and soared into a new vein of existence. Unfettered by the things that once, that hold such resistance. Her senses now heightened. She sees everything so clearly. She hears the wind rustling through the trees. She feels the softness of her hands and the music as of the strength that she possesses. Her, her needs and desires she has learned to express. She has tasted the bitter and savoured the sweet fruits of life. Overcome adversities, push heartaches and strife and the, old, the one thing she never understood. She now knows to be true. It all begins and ends with you. This is the poem written by Swami Carol, The Empowered Women. And this is what CWEI, Consultant of Women Entrepreneurs of India, is trying to incorporate in the system. This Consultant of Women Entrepreneurs of India is registered voluntarily, or is a voluntary organization that works for the social and economic empowerment of women and their families. CWEI believes that self-employment is the key to achieve this goal. NGOs, voluntary organizations, self-help groups, institutes and individual enterprises who collectively support and benefit from these activities. We facilitate technological support in the product and design development, explore marketing initiatives within and outside the country and provide financial expertise with alternative and innovative methods of financing. CWI reaches out to the artisans, tribal and producer groups, underprivileged women at the grassroots level, countless and other women in far corners of the country and develop, developing the world, helping them realize their, their talent potential. We interact with these groups and provide them with overall technolo technological and marketing support through various buyer ceremonies, exhibitions and trade fairs in India and abroad. Shashwat, CWDI's rural wing is a common facility come training system for women groups. Shashwat demonstrates technologies and acts as an incubator for hands-on training for income generation with a cluster approach. SSE and cottage products are marketed under the common brand name Shashwat. SAWE, the importance of, important of international co cooperation for women to strengthen their entrepreneur, entrepreneurial Inequalities have led to the formation of South Asian Women Entrepreneurs, that is SAWE. The international wing of CWEI, formed with the support of UNIFEM, APCTP, and CYP, Commonwealth Youth Program, it includes participants from SAR, SARC, SAR, and the Asian Pacific region. In recent, in recent years, SAWE has grown in strength and active participation of entrepreneurs from the Far East, Malaysia, Africa, Egypt, Mauritius, along with those from the United Kingdom, Italy, Spain, Syria and South Korea have interacted with CWEI. Good afternoon to everyone present here. I am here to talk about our contribution towards the program. Apart from the work we were assigned, we as designers also help these store members by educating them on visual merchandising and creating plantage. We suggested them ways in which we could arrange their products so that they were visually appearing and attractive. We even helped them in decorating their stores. We educated them about the latest trends going on in the present world and how they could integrate their ideas in these products. We suggested them products like mugs, modern apparels, in which they could use their design. We even spread the awareness about how important it is to get educated. Many artists and workers fear to step out from their houses due to language problems. Hence, this center representatives. This keeps them cut from the outside world and it becomes a communication gap. The language problem becomes a gap between the buyer and the seller, hence reducing the clientage. Overall, we try to connect them to the modern world so that Indian craft gets more exposure. 
the craft of India are diverse, rich in history and religion. The aesthetics of each state in India reflects the influence of different empires. Throughout centuries, craft has been embedded as a culture and tradition within rural communities. Rajasthan is recognized as royal heritage. Gujarat, Bihar, Kerala, Goa all have their own beautiful crafts. Time has come when we connect these precious crafts to modern world. With rising economics and political issues, the craft sector is struggling to uphold. Hence, it is our duty to protect and preserve them. We suggested the soil members if they were interested in collaborating their work with our current ideas and designs. Around 80% of them were keen on doing so. <coughs> they were pulled back with the due to lack of advancement in machinery, education, exposure and the risk of celebrity. We suggested many ideas such as Karakari jewelry, jewel dresses, working mugs, kantha parrots and so on. People showed willingness to innovate. Rising cost of material is also an issue. Famous designers like Ritu Kumar are constantly embedding traditional craft in their design. So let us all hold hands together and collaborate with each other to help the artists to innovate their craft. Thank you. Good afternoon. I am here to discuss problems faced by the exhibitors and to give suggestions to sort out these problems. The first problem faced by exhibitors is communication gap. We live in a country of different languages. Many people here are from different places in India where they speak different languages and they don't understand our national language, Indian and official language, English. Second problem is need of advancement in machinery. Around 40% of the artisans who are exhibiting here are willing, willing to innovate with their artwork, but lack of advancement in the machinery stops them to do so. The, the third problem is the threat of non mobility As we interview the exhibitor here at Designer, we ask them why don't you why don't you merge your artwork with a modern trend? Most of them gave a positive reply, but they fear will it sell here in the market? Because they don't exist, they don't present in their exhibition here, but this is a break which they earn from this exhibition. And the last and the last and almost major problem is lack of basic education. There is a need of basic education among them so that they can communicate with the customer and convey their artwork. We have come up with some suggestions for these two problems. First, we can provide a translator for the people who don't understand Hindi or English for educating them in the term basic knowledge of the language. Second, for these two machines so that they can communicate with the artwork in the modern English. Third, to introduce education for the artwork in English and content about the merging of the artwork with the modern English. Last, providing the production, 
their stalls, their exhibitions, their everything. I mean, the way they are balancing everything, it is it it it, it, it is so inspiring. The uh, the way they handle their home and even for for the livelihood and keep the consistency and the crafts of India still alive in the hearts of all the Indians. It has. Though one painful aspect that we all observed was that they are struck, still struggling very, they are going through a very tough time living in, in an environment where the price hike is so high, nobody is keeping in mind that these people to produce such a thing, they have to, they, have, they need some input and the input they are giving the output they are getting out of it, it is not sufficient enough for such people. They are, as my friends said, it, they are scared to it, uh, go, out, uh, go out and show the world what their crafts are because they don't, they, they don't have the confidence in, them, in themselves whether the outside world will, act, uh, will actually accept that what their crafts are Will they actually accept it and incorporate it in their own livelihood? We as a group have really got mesmerized by the dedication they have and I am happy and privileged to be a part of all of you and to tell you that the that these people actually actually need need support from the modern world to have open doors from our, from our side so that these people can come up and show what actual talent is. We, we don't even know one percent of it. What we are missing, we, we should let them actually give, show their talent. They, they might not be well educated, but what talent they possess, it is hard for us to even learn now. Thank you. Designer group of IM in collaboration with CWEI has worked on this workshop. Therefore, we are very thankful to CWEI for giving us this opportunity. Adhya Kashwa, Arushi Mathur, Iman Kazmi, Fatiha, Priti Vyala, Neha Yadav, Usbeet Singh, Shilpa Shivakta, Surina, and a special thanks to our faculty who serve our students. Thank you.